Hello everyone, my name is Nathan and I am a SAP Certified Development Professional. I will be starting up with a SAP Hybris online training course. In this course, we will be covering all the basic modules of Hybris along with the advanced ones. We will be covering the product and content management into Hybris. We will be covering the cron jobs, the data import and export and everything about Hybris basically. So I will give a brief about myself. So I am uh, a senior software developer. I'm working as a senior Hybris developer right now and I'm a certified trainer also. I am a SAP certified development professional. Okay. And uh, I, there is this my email ID nathin.hybris at the rate gmail.com. So you can contact me on this email ID if you have any queries regarding this course. So I'll uh, show the curriculum which we will be following into this uh, training course. So in the first uh, lesson, we will be covering the Hybris overview and the major modules of Hybris and the accelerators. So basically in this uh, lesson, we will be checking what Hybris is, why it is so popular, what are its competitors and what are accelerated into, accelerators into Hybris and how a Hybris website looks like when you install an accelerator. Second one will be the architecture and technology used into this Hybris system, the type system and the data modeling of it, uh, an overview basically. Third lesson will be the Hybris uh, environment setup. We will set up the Hybris commerce suite on our local system and we will start the development part. Next one will be the product and content management. In product and content management, we will see how Hybris products and the pages which are there on the websites are managed. How to create a page, how we, how we create our component, how we can uh, modify a product a description image and each and everything about related, related to that product how we can remove how we can remove a product how we can uh, insert a product each and everything we will see into this module this lecture so fifth one will be the searching part so how the searching will work into our e-commerce website which is developed on hybris and uh, basically we will see what solar is so solar is the search engine which is which comes by default with hybris commerce suit Next one will be the commerce and the cart commerce part of a hybris that is the cart and checkout. So how a cart is being created, how it persists into our system, how the cart gets converted into an order and how the order flows from your cart to the uh, order placement part. So that comes into the checkout, how delivery addresses are maintained into hybris, how we move from, from one step of checkout from cart to payment and then to the order confirmation page next one the seventh lecture will uh, will consist of integration scenarios and web services tools such as how third party systems are integrated with hybris how a third party system can utilize the services which are being provided by hybris how hybris can interact with some other third party system eighth one will be the data modeling so data modeling is the base of hybris where we will create our own item type, we will create our own table, we will uh, create our own data to fill into that table. We will play around with that model which we have created the item type and then we'll see how we can display that item type over the website and how, how it is useful for us. Next one will be the order and business processes. In order and business processes, we will see how the order flow works. So starting from the order placement, how the order have its have its steps going on like okay one now the order is getting placed after that what step will will check we will check okay now the invoice is getting generated we will check okay now whether this uh, there is a fraud detection into the order or not whether that order is a is a relevant order whether it is a fraud order or not we will pass uh, some checks which will go through and then we will send an order place notification to the customer and how this this process takes place which files are included in it that will be a part of order and business processes next one will be the back office so back office is the back end of hybris so how a hybris hybris, a hybris website is managed from back end part so if you are a customer support agent an administrator or a marketing manager so how you handle your website from back end that will be covered into back office part next one will be the back office customization how we can customize our back office the which is provided by hybris so if you want some additional functionality to be uh, to be introduced into hybris back office that will be done by a back office customization next one will be the cron jobs so cron jobs are the should uh, as a, are, a, are scheduled jobs which runs a 
uh, a certain a certain code uh, on a specific interval. So basically, we uh, trigger a schedule for a a cron job. It will uh, run that code on that time which we have scheduled there. So we will create triggers. We will create one our custom cron job. We will create composite cron jobs also, and we'll see how it functions in Dohebris. Next one will be the impacts and impacts uh, import and export. So how data is imported and how data is exported into Hybris, how we can import our own data to Hybris and how we can export the data from it so for our own purposes. So 14th one will not be a lecture, it will be a session in which I will be discussing most uh, the most common interview questions which are asked into Hybris and I will be providing the answers also for it. And uh, we will have a discussion regarding the questions which we have discussed, which we have faced in past. If we, if some of you have given some interview in into hybrids, then we'll see what are the interview questions and how you tackled it, how we can make it better. I'll provide one assignment also for uh, building up your uh, confidence into hybrids. So this was the course outline. So in case if you want to enroll into this course, just contact me over my email ID that is nitin.hybris at the rate gmail.com. You can mail me directly and I will respond to each and every mail. You can also comment below if you have any issues regarding the course or if you have any doubts regarding this course. Thank you and have a nice day.